Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Cities Skylines Let's Play. Now, thank you very much for your comments over the last few videos. I've been looking at various different things, and they've helped me tweak a few things within the city as we've gone along. One of the things that I meant to do last episode, but haven't done yet, was actually name the city. So, uh, we're going to head in here now and do that now. And overwhelmingly, there were some really good ideas, but a resounding majority of people said Hellishville. So... That is what we're going to name it. There we go. So now we have Hellishville. There's a population of 30,000. And there's lots of things that I want to do. I don't know how much we'll get done in today's episode. The first thing is sort out some traffic issues. So if we look at the traffic, you can see that it's starting to build up around these junctions here. And we've only just really put those in and started them being used. That toll bridge is... It's getting used a lot already, and it hasn't been in there very long. So what we're going to do is going to oik the ticket price up to maximum to really force them to use these other roads. And then I'm going to put in a one-way system. Now, I had to think about this between episodes, and I thought it would be a good idea. Now, I don't know whether it's a good idea, but we'll see. So we're going to set ourselves to replace... And we're going to set that to one way and point... I think what we'll do is we'll point the middle all the way down away from the roundabout. And then they can come up and round and back in this way. So that'll be one way, but it'll go into the roundabout that way. So I'm just going to go around these. And I'm going to add them all in. Make sure they're all pointing the right way. And then we'll see if that has a positive effect on traffic flow. And there. Okay, so that's this side done. And what I'm hoping is is that down the middle of this street here we'll just have a much better flow of traffic as all the traffic wants to flow in one direction. Adjoining and crossing cars should go much better. And it looks much better already. If we compare that street to this street, which is just chocker. There's a house on fire. That's fine. It's, it's right next to the fire station. Although with the traffic that we've got here, that might take a while. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And we should see an immediate number. Now, how bad is the traffic at the minute? Okay, so apart from where I've just done the road, it is very red. And look, this was red as well, and it's already died down. Got a bit of busyness here and there, but it's a good look. So... Let's crack on with the other ones. Right, that is all of those one-way systems put in. So if I have a look at the traffic now... Oh, yes. That is creating much better flow already. Now, I still have this issue around here to deal with, but I've whacked the prices up. I don't really want them to be using this very much. Also, they might be using this central road to bypass some of the one-wayness. I don't think that be the case but also there's a lot of traffic going backwards and forwards so maybe we could alleviate that with some um, some bridges so let's do that I'm gonna get uh, a bit of road and this these are the same bridges that we did previously so I'm just gonna put three bridges in and we'll see how that goes there we go so hopefully those crossing bridges will alleviate the uh, the crossings in the middle I don't know if they will but we'll see hopefully we'll see some traffic using them sometime soon but there we go we have a, a garbage truck using it already now I've been messing around with that for a while we've got a massive demand for commercial and a bit of industry and it says, uh, medium demand for industry or office, and a medium demand for commercial. So we've got offices down the middle of this area here. I think what we'll do is swap them out for commercial and make some special little office districts. Uh, so this area down here that I was going to make a really pretty and lovely place, I'm not going to do that anymore. Okay, We're going to move some of these. Uh, we're going to put a brand new wind farm in. Oh, look at this over here. Well, this is good. 
Okay, we're going to move them down the coast. It's going to cost a bit of money, but we've got lots of money at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up as a commercial zone. And also an office zone. like a Almost like a little offshoot of a city centre. So we're going to put another bridge in. I think it goes actually let, let's put the road in first so i can see where it goes there we go bridge from no up 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 there down to there we go so kind of like here to there oh yeah i like that i like that so we're starting to get a little bit of this curviness that's going on in this district here. So in the middle area around here we're going to have uh, a cross, a crisscross of roads, Called of a crisscross, like a, a mini kind of area for offices and we'll put it out to there and we'll do another set. There we go. And these will be our office zones. And uh, you know what? We'll, we'll go with one more. Just one more office zone. Okay, so then these will be offices. Commercial down the outside. We'll put commercial around here. So we've got a bit of a different pattern going on here. And I like it. We What we can do is, if we want to, is make this a crossroads. And just kind of oik the road out into the middle of this. A little... Get a bit more coverage down there. And we're going to need something here as well. So I'm thinking in the waterfront. But <laughs> I'm sure once we get buildings on there it'll be alright. So what I was doing is I was adding a large amount of office space. We definitely need an office zone there. You can see that's already taking up. Uh, a lot of things that are going on. I want to be able to put in some commercial. We're going to start off with commercial going around here. And we're going to put dents around the outside. No, wait, that's the wrong way around to do it. You want dents in the middle. Okay, uh, unzone. Dzone, whatever it's called. There we go. Okay, so in the middle... This is where we're going to have our dense zoning. There we go. So we've got an office area. We've got some um, commercial area. It's going to be hooked up with electricity. We just need to make sure the water is there as well. So what I'll do is I'll continue that water down there. And then... This should just cover it if I go to here. Um, yeah, that covers it there. It's almost like that was off slightly, but I'm not sure. Never mind, it's in. Okay, so that's all going to be connected up there by water. And I want to dezone all of these offices here. And that demand has dropped, so we've kind of satisfied that demand. We're going to have more of these office zones in. I feel like there should be an office zone here, but then I've gone and put these incinerators there. So maybe an office zone down here or something like that would be good. Okay, so while that part of the town uh, sorts itself out, we're going to uh, work on this area here. Now this is an area which I earmarked for facilities and fantastic things and I have no idea how I'm going to do it but we've got half a million in the bank so one of the reasons why I did those other two jobs first was I wanted the money to build up a bit now we're going to crack on so we're going to pause the game first and I'm going to remove a load of this highway so we'll put that in 16,000 it's not too bad these days we can afford that sort of th we can afford that sort of thing I'm just going to remove a bit more of this so that I can connect this up and make it nice and neat. So hopefully... There's a little bit of a kink. I mean, I could do that. 
get a bit more of a a bend out of it. There we go. The ring. I have no idea how this is going to work. Hmm. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> Maybe? Yes, why not? Why not? What kind of road is that? That is a three-lane road. You know what? It's weird. But it works. Hmm. Okay, let's... Let's try that again. There you go, look. Easy! Okay, disclaimer. I have just made this up on the spot. I have no idea if this technique is going to be good or bad, or somewhere in between. But I'm going to try it and we'll see what happens. Now, what I was thinking was is that off these roads we can have some two-lane roads like this. And I want them to kind of uh, perpendicularly bisect these really busy ones so that we do have a junction. Oh, that's horrible. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, what happened there? Okay, I made an assumption that if I did... I think I'm on the wrong kind of road. That's the kind of road that I'm after. There we go. It helps if you have the right tools selected. There we are. It's taking on a bit of a... a thing... I think. Now this this is where all of our major services are going to be that are going to provide fire and health coverage and extra coverage to all these areas. Now where we need it, for example in uh, the uh, residential zone here, we're going to have a lot of uh, extra little things, uh, high schools and secondary schools and so forth, but all the big ones are going to be here. Potentially switch with... How much is it going to cost me to move the... Ho well, I've accidentally got two hospitals. Right. Let's try that again. So, we've got a police headquarters. We've got a hospital. That's going to cost us a bit of money. We'll put university in wherever it will fit. there and then it must have been the fire station that I didn't put in there we go so we should have all these services here it is affecting these guys a little that fire station did make some of these people happy I don't know whether this is gonna help much but it's an experiment we might have to move them we might have to put them on the edge of these areas here later on. But I wanted to see whether having these items here would make a difference. For the last part of today, we're going to finish off by buying a couple of these extra pieces of land. Probably just one, to be honest. We're going to do that posh district, or at least part one of the posh district. So we're going to open up this tile here. Bam, we've got it. Now we can put things up here on this hillside. Now, exactly what we're going to do on this hillside, I'm uh, not 100% sure yet, but we're going to need a junction off this main road here, and I don't intend to bring it this way either, so we're going to have a T-junction again. Let's just make a nice little space for it, and we'll pop one in. Let's see here. No, not that way. There we go. Now, is it going to fit, or do I have to take a little bit more off? A little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Just adjust it so it's nice and in the middle. Plop. Okay, I like that junction. It's a good junction. And then I should be able to just bring these... Well, if I use the right thing, I should. There we go. Hmm. 
Now I'll just connect these bits up here. And we've got our entrance. Now, this is a highway. So what I'm thinking is, is that we bring the highway forward a little bit and then just bring it into a main road. And all the roads around here are going to be pretty. So the highways are going to have uh, the walls. And we'll upgrade these ones as well to keep the... No, not that. There we go. To keep the noise pollution out. I don't know if I can... No, no, we don't want... I didn't want to do that. There we go. Uh, yeah, that should keep the noise pollution out of this area. Also, that's facing the wrong way. And then this... Can I get rid of these boulders? Yes, I can. We'll get rid of the boulders. A few boulders over here. There we go. So I'm going to choose the prettiest roads possible. Yes. Yes, and, and then part way down this road here. We'll have some coming off there as well, but um, we'll have it to this way. And then we'll have it turn a number of degrees, 125, I think. Is that right? Yes. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. I mean, I don't know if it's starting to look like something. We're also running out of money. We are running out of money. We're going to have to get some water supply in over here. So it looks like we've got a main trunk water supply connection here. That's one of master connections. So if we bring that over uh, and put it just under this road here. And then we can just follow the roads with the connections. Bring that right to the ends. Okay, so that's got all the water in for the main roads. Now we want some smaller roads. And we're going to do the small roads with the trees. Again, really expensive stuff here. And what we'll do is we won't hit any of these major roads. We'll come off these smaller roads. And if I... Yeah, if I make that there. No, next one. No. Yeah, that'll do. Why not? So I'm not quite sure how far I want to come out on that. But I think if we come from the end, it's going to help a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that is... that's much better. <laughs> Much, much better. And to get water down these areas here, extend that. I think what we'll do is we'll just come around the outside like this. That will do that one. We'll have a line coming off this one. That will sort them out. Similar situation here. Push that one to the end, and then there we go. Now the only thing is, is if I try and mimic this uh, estate that I've put in on this side, they're going to crash into the middle of each other, but that's where I'm going to connect them together. It's probably maybe going to be fine. So this is where I'm going to start trying to do districts and stuff. So, unique buildings, parks, and, 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 and districts. Here we go. So, what's that? Industrial specializations, districts, planning tools. So, this area here. So, all of this is going to be one massive district. And for now, we'll just draw that there. I'm going to name this district. If you want to give a suggestion for the name of this posh expensive district then please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section along with any other thoughts ideas or questions that you may have so at the minute we have a large number of branches of road but only one area it says here that we've got um oh my goodness <laughs> there are no residents in this district and it's got land value that are terrible um 
smoke detector distribution recycling parks and yeah there's there's general good stuff going on there uh, but next time what we'll do is we'll add some services in here and then zone it so people can move in so leave your ideas for what to call it I, I quite like this kind of weird not like it is geometric because there's no curves and I want to add some curves but I'm gonna do them after I've put in the main bit what I might do between now and next episode is draw out the rest of the roads, but that is a relatively expensive operation. Overall, again, city is looking good. We've not got a massive amount of people coming in yet uh, into the city, and we've got a few things that are going on, a few abandoned buildings. We've got a few places saying that they haven't got uh, enough educated workers, but I'm hoping that with uh, dropping in a few more high schools and so forth, we should have a much better grip on that situation. Looking at this, oh my goodness. Uh, elementary, um, eligible 2000, oh, right, we're well under capacity for that. University capacity is currently zero because they haven't got water or power. Oh my goodness. This is horrendous. I can't, I can't believe that I've neglected the situation over here oh no okay look we're gonna get some water in around here uh, that should cover the water situation power let's just connect this zone to that zone and then that zone to that zone okay that should fix the water and power situation hmm it's not the best we might end up moving the university and all this stuff down here and using it for something else but we'll see I'm gonna give it a bit of a chance so there we go expansions are all over the place well, there we go, folks. We'll leave that little experiment happening over there with the university by itself. Between now and next time, I might do a little bit of fixing up. And also, we will then look at the second half of our posh district next time. Uh, I did mention in previous episodes that I would uh, perhaps use this area down here as a kind of tourist place. And I said this episode, we're not going to do that anymore. What I was thinking is, is that maybe we can move the tourism down to the bay once it's not covered in brown sludge so we'll see about that in the future leave all your thoughts and ideas down in the comment section it have been really helpful for me so far i hope you enjoyed the episode if you have give it a like and if you want to see more like this please consider subscribing but that is going to be all for now i will see you soon take care goodbye <laughs>